Welcome back to Reno Tahoe. This is true metal racing. This first day of metal racing competition here. The giant crowds, yeah, they found their way into the grandstands. They're here for a lot of reasons, the adrenaline and the speed. And we are getting into a speedy class right now, the sport class. Yeah, the sport's been our most popular class in the last several years. Uh, it is limited to any kit or amateur built aircraft, meaning most of these aircraft were built in somebody's garage. Uh, they have to be powered by an internal combustion engine under 1,000 cubic inches. The sport class is essentially a 400 mile an hour research and development department where many items perfected here end up in your family's general aviation aircraft. Well, all right, our racers are on the course and engaged in lap number one of six around this race course right now. And there are the two big competitors from last year's competition. On the bottom, the orange and white, the steel. One moment, race number 30 with Andrew Findlay, the defending champion. And in that white plane, race 39, the Super Glass Air 3. No other way to put it. His arch rival, the six-time champion here in this class, Jeff Lavelle. You know, Jeff Lavelle was the first home build to break 400 miles an hour a couple years ago. And the entire steel team has really stepped up to the plate. They cleaned up the airframe a couple years ago. They even took the graphics off the top wing because it was bunching up and creating disturbance in the airflow. Now they're in a lightning program. They're, they're switching the steel parts with titanium. Uh, they've, they've shortened the wings a little bit because they said that at some point uh, the drag overtakes the lift. So they've really put a lot of thought into this and it, it's showing. Jeff Lavelle's been looking over his shoulder saying, who are these guys? Finley Lavelle out in front, right behind them you see uh, Roost and Balmer, race 24 and race 67. Boy, this uh, this rivalry, as you say, uh, Andrew Finlay working so hard, getting so technologically advanced, leading his team to make this plane that much faster, incrementally faster each and every year. And of course, it paid off last year in 2018 with the championship. You know, Tommy, you just mentioned Jimmy Rust. His glass air is a test bed for his whirlwind propellers. A lot of the testing that goes into making his airplane so fast here will show up at the same propeller you can buy from him next week. Same thing goes from Macaulay, Hartzell, Caddo. A lot of those props are tested and perfected right here in the sport class. What we're seeing right now is, is actually a working laboratory that is resulting in a lot of speed and a lot of innovation. Now, speaking of innovation, these aircraft, or I should say just about all these aircraft in the sport class, are fuel injected, turbocharged. Our leaders are twin turbocharged. And speaking of innovation, we've even had a leaf blower in the cockpit several years back that was used as a makeshift turbo. So anything goes with these guys. Anything to squeeze a little more speed out of it right now. And of course, the top two guys in this sport, Findlay and Lavelle, well, as you can imagine, both of them, even before they started to fly, experienced a definite need for speed. Well, here we are going into the white flag, the final lap of these six laps around the course. And right now, boy, it's like momentum from last season. Andrew Finley out in front comfortably. Well, I don't know about comfortably because those cockpit shots really bring to mind how many G's these pilots are actually pulling on this race course. A 60 degree bank turn is two G's. These guys are over 60 degrees. So that means they're pulling anywhere from two to three G's almost the entire course with exception of a slight reprieve over there on the Valley of Speed, the, the 10 o'clock to the seven o'clock position on our course. With exception of that, there are certain places they're getting up to four and five positive G's when they get in turbulence as they're passing other aircraft. Now, all of us are pulling one positive G. That's what we know is the force of gravity. That's what holds us down on the ground. Astronauts experience zero Gs. These pilots are being pushed in the cockpit at two, three, four, five times their normal body weight. A lot of physical conditioning goes into doing what they do on this race course. Well, right now, Andrew Finley enjoying that, that air out front. Uh, Jeff Lavelle, we assume, had some mechanical issue. He has dropped out of the race. He will not finish it. And so it is all up to Andrew Finley to just take this one to the barn and rack up another victory here. He is almost there to the start-finish pylon. Barely breaking a sweat. There it is, Andrew Finley picking up where he left off last year. We caught up with him after the race. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah, everything was running good. It kind of hesitated on the start there. You see it might have a little puff of smoke, but uh, got it lit. And uh, just everything, temperatures looked good. Power was looking good, so we just let it rip. So, yeah, good race. Good first race. Yeah. Look at that average speed. 20 miles an hour faster than his next closest rival there. Impressive stuff. In fact, that deserves the steel power move of the week, holding the field off, dominating this first heat race.